the Acer Spin 1 is a super budget convertible laptop that's available for just £250 and is ideal for those that want something cheap and versatile but with a decent screen and long battery life. This laptop is centered around an 11.6 inch screen but it's quite a bit larger than that would suggest. A chunky bezel surrounds the screen making for a laptop that has a similar footprint to some 13 inch models. It's also not all that thin or light for a machine of this screen size but the most important thing is that it's still thin and light enough to be the sort of laptop you could easily carry with you all the time. It also looks quite nice. The pastel blue plastic exterior is finished with a weave pattern that is rather fetching and should help hide scratches and provide the laptop with a bit of grip. On the inside, the keyboard surround has a faux brushed metal effect to its black plastic, which could easily come across as cheap mimicry, but actually kind of works. Of course, this being a convertible laptop, the display is in fact a touchscreen and it spins around to form a rudimentary tablet, or you can deploy it in a number of creative ways for easy viewing. And let's get this out there straight away. As a tablet, it's a pretty poor experience. Windows 10 is not that clever as a tablet OS at the best of times, and on a slow device like this, it totally pales in comparison to a cheap Android tablet. Instead, it's the extra versatility such a foldable hinge provides that makes this laptop appealing. What else helps is that the screen itself is decent quality. It's an IPS LCD panel so viewing angles are great while a decent contrast level of 874 to 1 means that although the likes of the Acer Swift 5 still have quite a lead on it, this laptop doesn't suffer from the truly awful washed out look that some cheap low contrast displays have. What's more, you get a far higher resolution than you might expect. Typically such cheap laptops have 1366 by 768 pixel screens, but here it's Full HD. You won't be using it at full resolution most of the time, but when it comes to watching video, viewing pictures, or if you just really need to see more of that spreadsheet, then it's great to have the option there. As for most other aspects of the screen, brightness is a touch low, especially considering the reflective glossy finish, plus its colour temperature certainly could be better, but in use it's fine for most of the time. Similarly, the sRGB colour space coverage of 74.4% is not great, but entirely adequate and positively good for a laptop of this price. Another plus is connectivity. You get three USB ports, although admittedly only one of them is USB 3, plus an HDMI and although there's no full size SD slot, you get a micro SD slot, so you can just use a micro SD to SD adapter in your camera. Also down the size are the power and volume buttons, plus a headphone jack and a lock slot. So far so reasonable then, but inevitably that low price does have some downsides. The keyboard, while having a decent overall layout, is not a proper UK one, and the key action is quite stiff. As such, I found I had to hammer away at the keys quite hard to guarantee pressing them properly, slowing down typing speed and reducing accuracy. You also miss out on backlighting and don't even get indicators for the lock keys, making it hard to tell if you've left the caps lock on. The trackpad is similarly okay, but not exactly the sort of thing you'll want to be working on for hours each day. Tracking is fairly accurate, but the click action is again a bit stiff, making it awkward to perform more complex manoeuvres like drag and drop. The other major problem area is performance. This laptop uses an Intel N4200 processor, which is actually a 4-core chip, but it's still slow overall. This combined with the 500GB hard drive on this particular version makes for very slow boot up and app loading times, something that isn't helped by the inevitable free trial of antivirus software, which I quickly disabled. You can also get the Spin 1 with a 128GB SSD or a 32GB eMMC, the latter of which is also flash memory, but more likely slower stuff you get in an SD card than what's normally used in an SSD. It's this MMC version that is the cheapest £250 option, with the others demanding upwards of £300. Whichever version you go for, it's something of a guarantee that you won't want to be doing anything too intensive on this laptop for any length of time. Web browsing with just a few tabs open, checking email, basic typing, watching video and occasionally tweaking the odd photo will be the order of the day. Anything more than that and you'll probably want a faster machine. What makes a lot of this low performance forgivable though, aside from the low price, is that this laptop lasts ages on battery power. It managed 9 hours and 24 minutes in my power mark test, so for the intrepid traveller it's potentially an ideal companion. Overall then, if you can afford to spend more, then you will get a far smoother overall experience. And for those that work for several hours every day on their laptop, I'd probably recommend you go that route. But if you really just need the basics in terms of performance, but want a decent screen and the versatility of a touchscreen, then the Acer Spin 1 could be what you're looking for.